Looks like we'll have to get even tougher. Yeah. How would you like us to try our rubber hose on you, Day? Gee, would you? It's awfully hot under these lights. <laughs> Let's let him go, huh, Sullivan? He's making me nervous. He'll crack. Now, look, Day. You admit you were at the bank at the time of the robbery. Yes, sir, but I had nothing to do with it. It was just a coincidence. Pretty weak, Day. It's the truth. If one of you had been on duty at the bank, you'd know. Hey, come to think of it, that bank is on your beach, Sullivan. So what? So where were you this morning? Well, I was home sleeping. Yeah? How come? Why, it was my day off. Pretty weak, Sullivan. You shut up. <laughs> what about you, Dolan? You're supposed to be around that bank, too. Never mind me. We were talking about you. Yeah, well, now we're talking about you. Where were you? Me? Yeah, you. Should I shine the light in his eyes? You keep quiet! <laughs> Good afternoon. I'm the teller from the bank. Uh, you sent for me? Yeah. Take a look at this guy. Can you identify him as the bank robber? Him? Gracious, no. He was making a deposit when the robbery took place. Entirely innocent. See? Yeah. <laughs> as a matter of fact, this gentleman is the only one who can identify the robber. He's the only one who saw his face. Oh. If the robber realizes that, he may come back here to knock Day off, eh, Sullivan? Right. And if he tries to knock off Day, we got a chance to knock him off. Boy, that's a swell I... Hey, fellas, wait a minute. I think I found a terrible weakness in the idea. What a horrible experience. First a bank robbery and then the third degree. Yeah. Oh, you poor darling. Your hands are trembling. Here, let me hold them. Mildred, please. I'm not in the mood to neck. <laughs> All right. Well, thank goodness your troubles are over now anyway. We haven't even started yet. The police think this robber is going to come after me. What? Yeah. I'm the only one who saw his face in the nude. <laughs> What did he look like? Something like your mother, only not so fierce, of course. <laughs> oh, golly, Dennis, if you're the only one who can identify him, he's bound to come after you. Gosh, I'd be better off if they kept me in jail instead of letting... Wait a minute. That's it. I said something? Sure I did. Well, but I don't see Don't what... you see? I'm going to get myself arrested for something or other and thrown into the Weaverville jail where I'll be safe. Oh, Dennis. What an idea. Even the Middletown police won't know where I am. Oh, Dennis, Dennis, you grand boy. You're touched with genius. <laughs> Hiya, babe. I, I beg your pardon. Slip us a kiss, kid. Or should I grab it? <laughs> Goodness, I... Yeah, I'm pretty fresh, babe. Better holler for the cops. Oh, what for? <laughs> I wouldn't mind a little kiss at all. Oh, no, you're supposed to yell for the police. Oh, don't be silly. Come on, kiss me. Wait a minute, lady. I think... Oh, the... come here, baby. I think I'm going to like this. Lady, please. <laughs> Cut it out. You're messing my hair. Lady, please. We only just met. Hey, help, Police! <laughs> Willoughby? Oh, hello, Dennis. Willoughby, I want a $10 raise. And if I don't get it, I'm going to tear up this joint and smash everything in it. I'll break every window, put my foot through your showcase, and pour kerosene on all your merchandise. Why, Dennis. You heard me. What'll it be? Trick or treat. <laughs> well, son, I... I guess there's only one thing I can do. Call the cops, huh? No, help you smash up the place. I've been wanting to collect the insurance on it for years. Oh, Mr. Willoughby! You the sheriff of Weaverville County? Yeah. What's on your mind, Shinny? I came to give myself up. Eh? I say, I came to give myself up. I'm the one who did it. Did what? Whatever unsolved crime you got lying around, I did it. Well, uh, 
Uh, we ain't got no unsolved crime, Sonny, except in the murder of old Doc Haskins. That's the one. I shot him. He was stabbed. <laughs> oh, I thought the bullet missed him. That's why I stuck a knife in him. Uh, sure it was you, eh, Sonny? Positive. Lock me up. And now let's see, old Doc was killed around midnight, as I recall. That's right. I'm sure of it. On uh, April 14th. Yep, I'm sure of it. 1898. Yep. <laughs> that you better check. Hey, don't slam the door, Sonny. Nice meeting you. Gee, a fine success I am. I'm not even jailbait. <laughs> oh, well. Mildred, open up. It's me, Dennis. Come right in, Buster. Why, you're... You're the man who robbed the bank this morning. <laughs> Fancy meeting you again. Small world, isn't it? Yeah. It might even get uh, one man smaller pretty soon. <laughs> uh, you're joking, of course. I doubt very much. Step inside, pal. Oh, Dennis, I didn't want to let him in, but he had a gun. Shut up, sister. Now, look here. You can't talk that way to Mildred. What? Uh, shut up, sister. <laughs> we, uh, we got some unfinished business, you and I, Buster. We have? Yeah. Well, this is no day for work. Let's just take it easy, huh? I'm sorry, pal. You're the only living person who saw my face at the bank. Understand? I'm taking you for a little ride, pal. Where where to? You should worry. You ain't coming back. Well, do we have to go right away? Couldn't we wait a little? How long? Well, it's four o'clock now. How about September? <laughs> Don't give me that. I, I'm no... Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who's that coming up the walk? Dennis, it's a policeman. Oh, boy. Shut up. Now, listen to me, you... Let the copper in, see? But you better think up a story to cover me. Tell him, tell him I'm a relative or something. And if you don't make it good, I'll... Oh, I will, I will. C -c Come in. Hello, Day. I came over to give you a little protection in case that crook comes back here for you. Oh, who's this? Uh, uh my name is, uh, Henderson, officer. Yeah, he's my father. <laughs> father? But your name is Day. Yeah, well, Dad and I were never very close... Uh, your father looks awfully young to have a son your age, Day. Yes, doesn't he, though? He was a child bride. <laughs> uh, well, I've enjoyed meeting you, officer. My son and I were just going out for a little ride, weren't we, son? Why, Daddy, it's rude to run off when we have guests. Oh, yes, do stay. Besides, Daddy, I'm afraid I hear Grandmother calling. Why, son? Your grandmother is in heaven. I know. That's why I'm afraid. <laughs> Come on, son. We're leaving right now. Okay. I... Well, goodbye, Mildred. And, well, since this is goodbye, I'd like to say that... that... Yes, Dennis. But if I had to do it all over again, next time I wouldn't be so hard to get. <laughs> I understand, Dennis. I'm telling you for the last time, son, let's get going. Yes, sir. Uh, let me help you with your coat, Mr. Henderson. Oh, wait a minute. I don't need no help. But... Dennis, uh -oh. there on the floor, he dropped his gun. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, Daddy dropped his gun. Here, Daddy. <laughs> don't give it to him. Dennis pointed at him. What? Oh, stick him out, you. I mean, stick him down. I mean, stick him wherever you're supposed to stick him. <laughs> Why, you... What's going on here? Officer, quick, the handcuffs. This man's the bank robber. What? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Here, you... <laughs> Dennis. Dennis, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Dennis, I'm so proud of you. You caught him. Yeah. Gee, I didn't know I had it in me. I even pointed the right end of the gun at him. <laughs> I know. Oh, you were wonderful. Nice work, kid. And don't worry, we'll see that you're cut in on the money. Money? What money? Didn't you know? There's a reward on this guy's head. Gosh, really? And it's the worst part of him, too.
Dennis Day will be back in just a moment with a song. But first, here's a fact worth knowing. Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. And that's important, as our Colgate players are going to demonstrate for you. Tonight, our Colgate curtain goes up on a young man leaning against a taxi cab. His girlfriend has just slammed out of the cab with a freezing good night. He turns to the cab driver and says, Well, what do you make of that, buddy? My girl turns me down and without telling me what I did or when I did it. If you want my opinion, mister, you need a tip more than I do. I sure do. So if you've got any ideas, buddy, let's have them. Well, it's like this, Chief. I know dames, see? Fussy is all get out about some things. Like a guy needing to see his dentist, for instance. Get me? Wow. So that's it. And here's what our hero found out. Scientific tests have proved that in seven out of ten cases, Colgate Dental Cream instantly stops unpleasing breath that originates in the mouth. What's more, Colgate Dental Cream's safe polishing agent brings out the natural sparkle of your teeth, cleans them thoroughly and safely. Yes, Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. And Colgate Dental Cream is famous for its wonderful wake-up flavor, too. In fact, nationwide tests of leading toothpastes prove that Colgate Dental Cream is preferred for flavor over other brands tested. So, to clean your teeth thoroughly and safely, for a wake-up flavor everyone enjoys, use Colgate Dental Cream. Remember, Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. Here's Dennis Day to sing Charles Dance's beautiful arrangement of Bless You. Bless you for being an angel Just when it seemed that heaven was not for me Bless you for building a new dream Just when my It's new, it's amazingly different. Not a liquid, not a soap, but an utterly new cream shampoo that leaves hair soft, radiant, glamorous, and also easy to manage. It's Luster Cream Shampoo, created by Kay Dumont, who combined rich lanolin with secret ingredients. Use Luster Cream Shampoo and see how soft, how naturally lovely, how brilliantly alive and well-behaved your hair can be. Ask for Luster Cream Shampoo at cosmetic counters. This is Vern Smith reminding you that today dealers are paying higher prices than ever before for used cooking fats and oils. Save them. Turn them in for cash. Remember, industry needs these fats and oils urgently to help produce soap, automobiles, refrigerators, all the things you want and need. Remember this, too. The shortage of fats and oils is a worldwide problem. So keep right on saving cooking fats and oils. Turn them into your dealer and he'll pay you more for your used fats. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.